Hello everyone, I am teacher Adriana Bonoli and welcome to a new video by IFISA Online. Today is Culture Day at IFISA Online and I want to talk to you about a very special day, October 12th. This day, we celebrate the moment in which Europeans and the people from the New World met for the first time. We call this day with different names, Columbus Day or Indigenous Resistance Day. But why are there so many names to refer to the same historical event? Well, the reason behind it is actually very controversial and interesting. On October 12th of 1492, Three ships that came from Europe called the Niña, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, led by the Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, arrived to the beautiful lands of the continent we now call America. The ships docked in the island of Guanani, which is currently a part of the Bahamas. And in that wonderful land, the Europeans made contact for the first time in history with the inhabitants of the New World. This moment would pass to history as one of the most important achievements of Europeans. Why is it called the Columbus Day? Well, some people refer to October 12 as Columbus Day as a celebration of Christopher Columbus's incredible achievement of discovering a new continent. It's really important, however, to mention that Christopher was not the only person who played an important role in this discovery. Other people who were a part of his crew during this trip were crucial for the success of the expedition, such as Rodrigo de Triana, the first man to see land and yell earth in sight, the Pinzon brothers, who took charge of the ships, Cristóbal Quintero, the owner of the Pinta, and others. Why do some people call it the Indigenous Resistance Day? In some countries like Venezuela, we like to highlight the bravery and strength of the Native Americans and indigenous people who had to survive the not-so-peaceful colonization that followed the events of October 12. The indigenous people were treated as slaves, stripped from their homes, and contracted diseases that were brought from Europe by the colonizers. However, many of them stayed strong and were able to survive. Nowadays, some of the millenary original cultures from our continent still exist, but they are not as many as they used to be, and they still need to fight for their rights and the survival of the environment where their tribes are located. No matter how you call this day, the events of October 12 were incredibly powerful, and they changed history forever. So, what do you think? How do you call this holiday? Columbus Day or Indigenous Resistance Day? Let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for being with us today, and I will see you in a future video by FISA Online. Bye!